Hi guys, welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. Let's continue now with part 2 of painting back fake mustache heads. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I even start, I'm not going to paint exactly with a black foreground color. I'm going to double click here onto my color so to uh, get into the color picker. And then I'm going to paint with the same color as we have from the beard here. So I'm just going to select a dark area from the beard. And you can see it's somewhere in the blues also a little bit. It's not completely dark. Okay, okay that. And now we're going to paint in some fake beard hairs. Okay, so with a very small brush, say around 4 pixels, 3 pixels, I'm just really roughly over here going to brush in some hair that it looks more realistic and fades in a little bit better. Obviously this does take a little bit of practice. If, it's, if you're not getting it right at the first time, delete your layer again, create a new layer and just do the same process over again. Okay, so I'm just trying to make my best now to brush in some hairs really quickly over here. Over at the top and also here a little bit, make some small ones. I'm actually going to take my brush a little bit up to around 4 pixels and again 100% opacity still. So over here are some small hairs so it looks more realistic coming from the nose here. Okay, and a little bit more. You can also zoom in a little bit closer to make this even better. I prefer working a little bit away so I can actually see what's happening. Okay, I'm still set to a full brush, which actually works better now for this image. Okay, and at the end here, I would just like to actually get some hair that it just blends in a little bit better. Like I said before, I'm just doing this really roughly and quick. This is not perfect at all. Okay, a little bit more, and it kind of looks real. Looks real. It still needs the loads of work. So I'm creating some more hair and more hair. Okay, also over here, create some more hair going in a different direction. That's what I mostly tend to do: is just change my positions and directions a little bit, and also do some strokes upwards. The same to here. And I'm kind of making, I'm just going to quickly create a new layer to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm kind of brushing like this, small round circles and also very hard strong edges. And then again very small round edges. Okay, so let's delete our layer 4 here again, back to layer 3. And we're just going to keep on painting here. Okay, and some long ones again from the mouth. Okay, a little bit more. And I'm just going to continue doing this for a while. And now another trick that I will do is go again to my color picker side over here. Double tap again onto our color. And I'm going to sample this white color here in our beard. Okay, a little bit down, not to getting too much of the reds. More of a white. Okay, say okay that. And now also with just one pixel of a brush, I'm just going to paint in really slowly here some white here as well. So it just looks more realistic. Okay, and also on the side here, because we also do have some over here. And maybe make my brush size a little bit bigger and give that a try. Okay, that's better with again a three pixels. Okay, not too much, just some small ones. Okay, press go back here in our history panel. Okay, go over to the other side and maybe just one or two more here. Okay, zoom out completely again. And that is my first stage of already creating a fake beard onto this person. This is, looks not that perfect at all, but if we blend that out, our fake brushed layer in here, we can already see that we quite did it quite quickly but it looks, looks already a little bit better. If we continue doing this now for another half an hour and also just doing it more carefully over here, we would achieve a better effect. Okay, so the last step that I still will do now is just create a last little adjustment layer on top of this beard. So let's go up here to our adjustments and create a levels adjustment layer. Let me just make this a little bit bigger here. And we're just going to take also our levels layer down, our adjustment layer down to here and hold alt and clip this adjustment layer to our mask down here. 
Okay, so it's just affecting our mask. Then we're going to go back to adjustments over here and I'm just going to lighten the beard a little bit so it just fades in a little bit better with the person's face. Okay, zoom out a little bit more and that is a little bit brighter now, looks a little bit better. If we turn that on and off, you will see the effect looks a little bit better. It's maybe just a little bit too bright already. So turn it back and on and off again just to see the effect okay and now what I'm going to do last step on here another new layer going to with our marking tool going to select the whole area press right click say fill 50% gray okay and we're going to create a little bit of a dodge and burning then also go back to my blending options here change that back to soft light and soft light zoom in a little bit again take my brush again Control alt make my brush soften my brush completely change my opacity here to 0.7% Okay, and now with a black foreground color just swapping my foreground colors again back to black I'm just going to paint over the beard a little bit just to darken it a little bit and Also the edges around the beard just a little bit onto the lips here a little bit more Okay, making this a little bit darker and also under the nose here. Going to switch off my pen presses sensitivity here. Okay, so make that a bit darker. Okay, let's maybe swap that to overlay. That is too hard already. So swap that back to overlay. Zoom out a little bit more. And also going to brush a little bit over here on the side still zoom out a little bit okay so the last step that we're going to do now is just create some groups again so let's make our lazy a little bit bigger we're going to press shift press all our different layers here press command G put that together in a group and just write here new mustache or new M okay so blending this off we have the before and we have the after before and after as I said again this is just really quickly and roughly made you should actually spend way more time to do this properly we can maybe from our new M layer here just take the opacity down to 90% have a look what that gives us 95 93% turn that on and off looks also a little bit better Okay, so that was my quick tutorial showing you guys how to apply a new beard onto someone's face. Hope you guys learned something from this quick tutorial. My name is Manny. If you still have any questions about this, please feel free to email me to team at mannyphotography.co.za. Glad to help you with your questions. Alright guys, see you all next week in another quick tutorial. Bye-bye.